Welcome to a video taking a look at proportion, specifically um, questions that involve recipes. Now these are a classic on the Edexcel uh, GCSE paper. So let's take a look. Here are the ingredients needed to make eight pancakes. So we're given some information here. Then David makes 24 pancakes. Work out how much milk he needs. Now the way that I like to kind of think about this uh, and to show how we might go about doing this is to draw a bar. Now this bar is going to represent my eight pancakes. So this here is my eight pancakes. And what I can say is that for my eight pancakes, how much milk do I need? Well, I need 300 milliliters. I need 300 milliliters of milk for my eight pancakes. Now, I need to make 24 pancakes. So what I could do is, well, why don't I just take this eight pancakes and add it on again? So if I was to take that again, that would give me another eight pancakes. And that would give me another three, I'd need another 300 millilitres of milk. So let's think about, okay, how many pancakes has this made for us now? This has made for us eight pancakes here, plus another eight here. I'm up to 16 pancakes in total. Okay, that's not quite what I need. I need 24. So again, what I can do is, okay, well, let's try adding on another eight. Okay, so if I made another eight pancakes, if I wanted to make another eight pancakes, that would need another 300 millilitres of milk. So now, how many pancakes have I made? Well, I've made eight, I've made another eight, and I've made another eight. So three eights, that's, that's now 24 pancakes that I've made. How much milk have I used to do this? Well, I've made 300 to make eight, another 300 to get me up to 16 pancakes and I've had to use another 300 millilitres of milk to get me up to 24 pancakes so how many um, how much milk does David need he needs 900 millilitres 300 plus another 300 plus another 300 okay let's take a look at our second example so here we're told that Louis makes 12 pancakes Work out how much flour he needs. So again, I'm going to think about this in terms of a bar. I'm just going to use one of these from over here. So I'm making another eight pancakes. Okay, so again, this is going to represent this is going to represent my eight pancakes. And let's do it down here, just so it's separate from what we did a minute ago. This is my eight pancakes, which is the color that we can see. This represents my eight pancakes. Now, we need to work out how much flour. So eight pancakes, that's going to make eight pancakes. I'm going to need 120 grams of flour. So this makes eight pancakes, 120 grams. Now, if I do what I did before and I take that eight pancakes and I add it on again, well, how many does that get me? So another eight pancakes. Another eight pancakes. That would give me I'd need to make need to use another hundred and twenty grams. And that would get me well eight plus eight, that gets me sixteen. I've got four too many. Okay, so let's think about what I could do here. Well, I've got four too many. What I could do is I can say, okay, I've got eight here. If I split this in half. If I split this amount in half, that would give me that would give me four pancakes and four pancakes. So what that means then is that if this is representing 120 grams in total, this just four pancakes would be 60 grams. The other four pancakes, 60 grams. Now if I take the eight pancakes, the eight pancakes were 120, and then I add on what I need for four pancakes, that will get me up to 12 pancakes. Add on the 60, 
that will leave me with a total of 180 so what I could say that to make 12 pancakes to make this many here to make 12 I'm going to need 120 grams plus 60 grams I'm going to need 180 grams in total Okay, let's take a look at the second example. What I suggest you do for this one is you pause the video and attempt the question first and then press play to see the answers. Okay, so I'm not going to draw out bars for this one. I'm just going to go with what I know. Well, I need to make 15 flapjacks. I've got ingredients for 10, so I'm going to need the ingredients for 10 plus half of 10 on top of what we've already got for 10 because I need to add 10, I need 10 flapjacks plus another 5. So if I've got 80 grams of rolled oats for 10 flapjacks, I'm going to need half of that added on to get me another 5. So that gives me 120. Again, I'm going to have to add half of uh, the 10 flapjacks for butter onto what we've already got that would give me 90 so I've just halved 60 and added 30 on this one I'm going to get 45 and for this last one I'm going to have to add on half of 36 18 on top of 36 that's going to give me 54 and so my answer is there to make 15 flapjacks I would need 120 90, 45 and 54 of each of those items.